Hi, this is Rick and welcome to the 7th Excel 2010 VBA tutorial and today's topic is going to be a continuation of the tutorial number 6 where we set up a uh, user input uh, function and it does it has a, in, a, a message box that pops up and has a user input uh, a number. In this case we're just doing something simple inserting a number right here and in cell B2 that calculates the number of labor hours and then it auto calculates the amount that comes to. So with that said I'm going to go ahead and jump back into this. I'm going to go into uh, developer then visual basic and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and what we want to do is clean this up because right now you can put any number in there so if I want to put in um, I don't know 6,000 as an example that may not be a valid number, probably is not a valid number if you're doing an invoice or something like that. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and, and add a few things in here. But what I want to do is make it so that you can only enter a certain range of numbers. And so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go behind these, um, these first couple of variables that we declare over here. And I'm going to create a couple constants, constant values, and I'm going to call those min hours. And I'm going to make these integers, all right, which again are whole numbers. Oh, sorry. Uh, oh, sorry, that would help. I need to put a value equals 1. So I'm going to go here and do another constant. And I'm going to set the maximum number of hours that the user is going to be able to enter. Again, I'm going to do integer and I'm going to do equals, let's say, 40 hours. Right now, um, we're going to go ahead and leave our message there, so I'm going to back that up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set up a loop type statement here. We're going to do, we're going to say do, and then what we're going to do is we're going to pop up that, um, let me indent this so it's a little easier to read here. We're going to create a loop here. So we're going to have the, the input box, same as we had before. And then what we're going to do, we're going to say if is numeric, and then we're going to look at the variable quantity entry. Do uh, then what do we do? We say then, and then we run a validation. So this is basically saying if the user enters a numeric uh, a number then what do we want to do? We want to go ahead and run some rules here, some validation. So I'm going to say quantity entry. If it's greater than or equal to min hours, and quantity entry is less than or equal to max hours, then we exit this routine. So we go then, exit, do, and we go ahead and do a end if. All right. Then what we do is if they don't do that, if they don't enter a valid entry, we want to go down here, we want to pop up a new message, and we can say, you know, please enter a valid number. But we can make something a little, we'll make it a little entertaining here. Come on, please enter a valid number. Valid number. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and create a new line because we need, an, we're going to create a new line here. And how we do that, we do message equals message and VB new line. Okay, and what's that message going to say? We're going to go ahead and say message and, and that's the ampersand sign. Please enter hours. And then I'm going to say ampersand, and I'm going to put the variable here, min hours. Ampersand again, and then I'm going to go ahead and do 
and, and now this is a string, right? Everything that's a string is in these quotes here. So right here, please enter hours between. And then I'm putting a space here so that before the variable pops up, I'll, I'll actually remove that and show you how that works. And, and then we do ampersand, and we do the max hours. And what that does, these, these variables refer, refer back to these variables here right min hours and max hours so once we've done that let me go over here and so I said this is a loop and then once that loop is done um, what we want to do is we want to paste that or add that value to the active sheet the value that the user entered so one thing I forgot to do is up here I'm going to go ahead and just copy and paste this. Please enter the hours between min hours and max hours. And I will paste that right here. Okay, well, I retype everything. And now I'm going to go ahead and run that and see if it works. Okay, so you see, please enter hours between 1 and 40. So if I put 50, now it gives me the new line message. Come on. Please enter a valid number. Please enter hours between 1 and 40. And now I put 30. And there it is, an updated 30 over here. Okay, so that's how you validate it. Um, we're, we set up the variables as integers. If you need them to be um, variable, if you need them to have, uh, like, for example, 10.5, you would set those up as a double type uh, variable rather than as an, as an integer. Integers are only um, whole numbers. Okay, so a couple quick other things I want to point out to you is you see here the message box says please enter hours between 1 and 40, but you notice there's no space there, so you want to clean that up a little bit. So what we want to do is, uh, let's see, I'll put in uh, 40. I'll bring back up the code, and now I want to go ahead and put right, right here after the word between, I'm going to put space, and over here I've already got the space right there. So I'm going to do the same down here, and that should clean it up. All right, so I'm going to do run that again. And you see now it's got a nice nice space to it, and I will put, uh, let me just do 50 again. Shouldn't take it, didn't validate it, and now I'm going to put 5, which is a valid number. You see it updated it, and everything updated automatically. So that's what I want to share with you today. A couple quick things. Um, Please subscribe to the site and I'll continue these VBA series uh, as I get time to do them and we'll get more complex and maybe build a project out of it. And then secondly is if you have a problem with this code you can email me at 10minutetrain at gmail.com and I will email you the code back 